What's going on, YouTube? Greenwood Evil here. Today, guys, we are going to be talking... I don't know, it's just Poke Chat. I called it Poke Chat. I don't know if that's a thing that other people use already, but I know I said earlier in a couple of videos ago that we were going to be doing um, like just a, like a, a state of collecting and, and trading and just where Pokemon is right now, and, and I am not... Uh, you know, authorized for any of this stuff. I'm just going to give my opinions, obviously. And you can chime in in the comments below. We'll just talk about some things and we'll talk about some trading today. And as you can see in front of me, we're not opening anything today. But we're going to be, um, we're going to be, uh, organizing binders today. Um, we're going to put the Scarlet and Violet cards I've gotten so far. So you're going to get a little bit of sneak peeks at the stuff that I've pulled in shorts that have not come up yet. So you'll, be pleasantly surprised if you watch this and um, if you don't you know if you miss a couple or you skip through a little bit you'll be surprised when the shorts come out but I want to get these these item these um, cards in the binders so hit the like button guys hit the subscribe button let's let's chat today about um, let's go let's first go through some of these cards that I've gotten recently from uh, let's get our sleeves I already have some sleeves prepared black sleeves with the extra sleeve on it. I don't know why I do the double sleeving, but I do. Um, but let's get our goodies out here. This is what we've pulled. A lot of, a lot of, um, as you can see, a lot of top loaded stuff. I got sleeves for everything. We're going to transfer stuff into sleeves first, and then we're going to put them into the binders. So you get a sneak peek at the binders of where they have been, because I have not done I'm just making sure we're recording. Um, we, we have not, um, talked recently about my binders or you've seen the binders at all uh, recently but let's put these off the camera so the camera doesn't get all messed up from that put them right there all right so let's go over let's go through some of this stuff let's start taking these guys out of out of these sleeves and into um, into the proper sleeves I want to go over what was uh, taken from me when I went to league and I want to express that I've been collecting for a long time since the original Pokemon, since the original Pokemon came out, I'm trying to hope. I'm hoping that this is not too bright here. I'm, I don't know if we can see that. If it's if it's too, if the lighting's too bright. So we're just gonna kind of go with it. So we'll see what happens. I don't know if this lighting's bright. Obviously, you guys can tell that I've completely shaven off my beard, which is the second shocker of the video. The first shocker is we're going through my collection, which I haven't done in a long while. Um, but so I've been collecting for a long time. I've collecting collected countless. Actually, we're not going to sleep. We're not going to put Le Chunk from um, the Pokemon Center in the uh, in the binders yet. We're going to leave him to the side for now. But you'll see stuff that we're we'll see. You'll see stuff that you've seen in videos already, like the Spidops. The Spidops was the first illustra uh, illustration rare, I guess, or I mean, secret art rare, I guess, is the e is an easy way to say it. So I'll probably say it like that. Um, we're gonna, as we sleeve these, we're gonna kind of um, put them in type order because then we can find them easier when it comes time to put them in the binders. Um, I have top loaders. I don't know if that's gonna make a difference. Um, can I turn? Give me a second here, ladies and gentlemen. What if I lift this up and over a little bit? Does that make a difference? No, I think it's the top loaders that are giving us major problems. I don't think it's the, actually, you know what? Let's do this. I want something dark here that should probably eliminate some of the glare. So let's organize. Yeah, here we go. Let's organize the cards on that. Okay, so we've kind of figured it out, I think. For now. We figured it out. You'll see me looking up here every so often because that's I'm seeing what we're, I'm recording, making sure it makes sense. Uh, Qual Quavel, the stamped from the... Um, the build and battle we'll, we'll put in the binder because maybe someone will want it but um i've been collecting for a long time and i've been i've gone to a lot of different places um to trade and 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 play and whatnot oh this was the uh this was the play pokemon stamped leafeon which is awesome i got a lot of these nice black and black and blue um uh, Dragon Shields that I'm not going to be not going to be using. We got a tar Tarantula Tarantula, which I remember how to say that, obviously. <laughs> just making sure my computer's not going to shut off on me, so just 
just ignore me while I do that. Got the background green today. Figured that'd be nice. Um, but this goes this goes nicely with the uh, spide op, so we can actually put them. You'll see. We'll we'll get that done. Oh, whoops! I forgot about the secret rare uh, Coridon, which I now can pronounce it properly. And I know you guys saw in the short or no in the early box opening. I said Coridon or something. I don't know. I learned it eventually, ladies and gentlemen. I learned the names eventually. And shocker, I played the game. I played the game. We're switching out. We got a Magna Zone here. But anyway, I'm saying all these years of playing, I've played. Let's see if I can try and list the the different style, the different types of games that I've played. Um, Pokemon, uh, played and collected. Pokemon, Marvel versus DC versus um, Marvel Recharge. I I collected the Attack of the Clones Star Wars cards. I missed Young Jedi, but I did collect it later and later, more recently. Um, got a curly here hopefully we can get the other two this might be a kind of a long video so we'll just kind of play it play it as we go um young jedi magic uh magic Yu-Gi-Oh. obviously um what else did, what else did i play you guys who know me can even comment and let me know uh uh what is that uh weish wars obviously with the marvel cards but i played it prior I played it in English with the Attack on Titan stuff, um, which is pretty fun. We got Terrestrialized Gyarados here, or Terra, I guess they're just calling it straight up now. Um, what else did I collect? Um, Battle Spirits, the Godzilla cards, obviously. Uh, water. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, we're, you're going to see me mess up a lot while I'm talking. I'm trying to multitask may not be the greatest thing, but we're going to... We're going to try our best. Another Coridon. Look at that. I got the name down. It's almost like I know Pokemon. Um, I'll be showing a couple of codes. I don't have very many to show out in this video. But I'll be showing codes for everybody sticks around. I got some uh, some Scarlet and Violet codes for you guys. I bought a, a six-pack six thing from um, uh, Target. And it was bad. I only got an Iron Treads, which I love Iron Treads. But... Um, not the regular art, not that much. We got Karide on the, uh, nope, Maride on there. We got Armor, Ru Armor Rouge, which I was right, and I said right the first time, and then I said Armor Rogue, and that was wrong. It's always a learning process. But anyway, I've, countless places, and let's see, let's try to have a list of places. Uh, sorry if I forget some of these places, some of these names. Um, I started with, uh, JC Comics, Little Shop of Comics, Boyhood Dreams that closed down in the area. Um, there was um, Elite Battlegrounds I went to. I obviously now um, RNG Games is, is my spot these days. Uh, RNG Games is uh, where I go and play and trade and everything, and they're great. They've been great to me. They take trade ins. They're they're really nice there. Um, ever since uh, Elite Battlegrounds was a spot that closed. 2016 they kind of had my favorite place to go is a spot that you can play there's table set up you can chill you can organize your cards it's a chill atmosphere you can play you can play games multiple things going on people are trading you know it's not like it's only not really only a spot where you can just go and you have to buy not have to buy but just go browse and then you leave you can bring your stuff or you don't have to wait for a, um, a tournament or whatever to do trading Oh, we got uh, the full art iron, uh, iron, uh, great tusk, which is cool. We'll sleep this up. Um, where else did I? Where else have I gone? I'm trying to think. Um, jeez, what other places have there been? Why am I blanking? Um, Epic Trading, their spot, a newer spot over in um, Springfield. That I've traded, with, I traded with them a couple times and bought some stuff. They're 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 cool peoples. Um, but anyway, all the and all these times I've gone to places to play to play the card game. This was a re this is a really nice, really nice promo Arcanine. I recommend getting it. It's got that nice galaxy foil, the old school hollow. Um, mine has a mine has a print line on it. If you can see that, uh, hold on. Once it focuses, there's a print line uh, right a right through its his head I don't know if, that right there look look under the 130 see that line a little print line but whatever it's just a pro it's just a nice promo which this will go in a binder because I like it 
one thing about collecting. Collect stuff you like. Collect stuff you like. Don't just buy everything to buy it. You'll spend too much money. Don't go crazy. Don't go crazy. Whatever, if you got the money. But collect what you like. Don't feel like you have to collect a certain thing because someone says so. You don't have to. Do whatever, do whatever you like. But back to our story um, with trading. So I learned something about... Let me see if I can push this back a little bit further. A little bit, I guess. Um, we're going to have to put some spots over here. Um, I got a card stolen from me. Um, I'll say where it's okay because it, it was it was it wasn't their fault. It wasn't it was a, such a slick there and here have security cameras, everybody, because um, RNG Games they are the best. They have security cameras in their trading room and all over the place. And I was there trading with a bunch of people, and I I was right next to my binders, and we were trading and all this stuff, and there was not you know nothing crazy going on, um, and then. Like a half hour later, I'm going back to my binder and I know where everything is. Now, not so much anymore because of Scarlet and Violet because I purged the binder, so I'm just getting reused to it again. But, um. Ugh. And it was like something, and I, something was wrong because it was the, fr the front page. The front, you'll see the front pages, most of it are going to be full, and they're going to be certain things that, um, that I don't, like, I don't trade from that first page. And that first page had a, uh, a Mew V alternate art from Fusion Strike. And I knew something was wrong because it was gone. And I'm like, I didn't trade it. It's not here. It's not It's not home. Like, where did it go? And there was a Spide Ops there. Um, like, where did it go? Um, so, I get concerned. I go through the binder a second time. I don't know why I would think it would be anywhere else. I organize all my stuff by types. If you guys, if this is a nice card, I got this recently from a short. You guys have seen that one. That one just recently went up. Um, you're going to start to see some new stuff that you haven't seen yet on shorts. Like this Slowpoke, which is dope. This Slowpoke is really awesome. That's a really cool one. Um, see if you guys, Let me know if you guys like this new way, This like the camera down angle. I can op maybe open packs this way. I don't know. I kind of like open the other way because you get to see all my graded cards in the Elite, tra the Elite Trainer Box collection. But let me know if you guys like this view. I think for the, co the collection, obviously, show off a collection, you show it like this. But I went through my binder and it was, they weren't there. It wasn't there. And I'm like, this is something wrong because I don't take cards on my binder for no reason. It's, they don't go anywhere. I was always, it was always a purpose. So I go to the owner, great guy, named Rob. I go, Rob. You have security cameras. I, I kind of under my breath. They don't want to cause any kind of real alarm. And he goes, yeah, what's going on? And I said, I think a card was swiped for me. So, lo and behold, security cameras, we caught we caught them. He, so, I'll show you when we... So, let's put that on the back burner. We'll go... When, when we get to the card, here's a full art uh, Maridon that I got, which is cool. Um, when we get to the card that was, that was swiped for me, I'll... Um, I'll show you how he took it and how to be careful with that kind of stuff. And it also taught me, um, as you'll see later in this video, um, <laughs> that uh, after all these years of trading and not getting anything taken from me, nothing, ne never, no one, and 99.99999% and of everybody have been amazing. Just it took one person, one person to swipe a card. Um, Probably don't carry all your all your heavy hitters in the same binders as your other stuff that you you may want to trade. So I built a fourth binder that has all the heat in it that I'll that I don't even take with me. That stays home. And, and then I'll tell someone if there's a big hit that they want to trade, or I got all my my really good stuff. Then I'll bring it. Um, then I'll bring it to uh, to trade or whatever. But I'm not gonna bring that binder. You'll see that binder. That's binder number four. We'll go through that later. That's where this... I don't think this is going to go in there. I'm trying to keep it value-wise. Um, like the higher stuff. Alternate arts. Secret rares. Lugia stuff. Bias to Lugia. Sue me. I am. Um, oh, yeah. Terrestrialized Gyarados. You guys are going to see that in one of the shorts. Look at that badass right there. That is awesome. Um, but, yeah. So, I got a card swipe from me. And it kind of changed my whole my whole outlook on trading um and making sure of keeping your stuff protected where to keep your items how to organize it and whatnot but definitely 
don't bring everything with you. I have always brought everything with me because I've never had a problem. And now I had a problem, so now, we, we, now we're changing things. So now we got Professor's Research, Full Art. And you are going to love the last card. This is You're going to see this in one of the shorts. I freaked out. I don't know. Uh, I recorded sound, obviously, or voice. I just don't know. Look at that. Coridon uh, Secret Art Rare. S-A-R or Secret Illustration Rare. S-I-R, sir. Look at this sir, guys. He is a sir. Um, but yeah, be careful with how you bring your stuff to... I know some people have collections and they 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 sort them by t uh, by the set itself, or they go they're trying to collect the full set. I don't do that. I just whatever I get, I get. I put in the binders. I may trade stuff in. Here's another scar and a violet code card for you guys who've been chilling. Um, leave a comment below. What's your best pull so far for scar and violet? But yeah, be careful with what you're bringing to um, to trade and whatnot, and, and make sure it's going to be very difficult because I'm going to show you how it was swiped from my binder, and it's very difficult to kind of catch it too, because I was right there. I was right there. So we got everything organized. So let us um, let oh whoops, put that there. Yeah, we're gonna have issues like that where I've oh yep see where I've so we're just gonna combine everything here. And we're going to just go through the binders, starting with this one that's under us, that's right here, this gray one. And we'll just start putting stuff away. No, it's not, it's not going to be a super long video. It's already actually kind of 20, uh, 17 minutes in or something like that. So it's actually, you know, kind of, oop, there's my, I have an Infinity War popcorn bucket. I don't know if you guys, when you saw Infinity War, uh, I don't know, was it uh, AMC or Regal had a, um, like a really cool popcorn bucket, so I got it. And now that popcorn bucket is full of, um... Uh, full of top loaders. Thanks, King Clutch. I used to buy a lot of stuff from him. All right, but let's go through the binders now. I don't know if I'll be able to fit everything in the screen, but we will sure as heck try. So let's see. All right, here we go. Here we go. Um, I do see there's a problem with the glare. Let me see if I put this binder under it like that. I don't know. So we'll, let's just try this. All right. So our first, our first thing we have to put in is lightning or electric or whatever. It's electric. Boogie oogie oogie. All right. So we got our electric Pokemon. I have everything sorted already, so it's easy to do it. Let's just slide this basic energy secret rare there. No big shakes. Um, let's see. So I'm not gonna go over to, like everything, obviously. Oh, you can actually kind of get everything in in frame for the most part. You can see it, which is pretty cool. Sorry if the camera shakes. I have no control over that. I use a, um... Let's see. Uh... I don't want holes. That's how I also know if something gets swiped. I don't have, like, holes in the binder. Like, I don't... I don't do that. So let's take these two toxtricities of a city. Slide them in here. And then we can put... What can we put here? Um... page I'm just gonna leave for now what we'll do just for the time being is we'll go Maridons even though I know I'm gonna get more of them because I'm gonna keep getting the set obviously and then we'll go Pakuritsu I don't like putting the really heavy hitters on the edges here that's just the thing that I do don't you don't have to go by me obviously um, just to make sure to know there's no bending or whatever I try to keep all the heavier hitters out the outsides of these binders and then the insides, I'll put stuff there because it doesn't really do much bending, if, if anything. But I still want to be careful about it. All right, now we're in psychic. Psychic, psychic, uh, psychic. Oh, I forgot to, I forgot to actually sleeve the, the Coridon. Whoops. I still have the uh, blue black sleeve one. You don't want that. Man, that's a nice card. That is a nice card. It's in pretty, it's in pretty good shape. It's got some, like, print line scratches on the back, though, but that's okay. We're not sending... It's not sending this bad, badass in. Look at look at him. It's like Jurassic Park up in this bead. All right, so let's just leave him. I don't think... Like I said, I don't think we have any psychic... Oh, no, we do. We have a couple. We got, uh... We got the... Oh, right at the back, obviously. We got the Gardevoir and the Curlia. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So let's... I don't want to put them there. Let's... 
Let's see. How are we gonna do this? Let's go to the end. We got some holes here. Give me this Articuno. I'm not trading this. Front page. Um. Whoa! Hold it up, them bot. Hold it up, them pages. All right. Uh. Let's take the Alakazams. Pop them here. I saw the pricing for the new the new uh, Japanese Pokemon set that came out. I guess it was like last night or something. Holy God, that is crazy. That is insane. Um, and then we'll go. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go Gardevoir and Curlia for now. That's fine. What else we got? What's next? Oh, uh, we have three spots. Let's go energy. This, 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 this. Bam. Okay, okay. That's fine. Now we're in fighting. We got fighting now. Now we got fighting. With the Coridons and everything, we got fighting. And the treads. Wow, it's a very fighting heavy set. Jeez. Okay. All right, so let's see. Let's leave that. We gotta fill a space here. Give me this clay doll. Oh, I got two clay dolls? Bummer. Ooh. Give me Lucario. He'll go there. I'm not trading that one. Oh, it's my last one. Uh, let's go... Let's go Soul Rock. Sanaconda... And then maybe something light from here. Nothing against Sandile, but Sandile will go here. Oh no, wait. Where'd that clay doll go? I thought I had a, I thought I had two clay dolls. Did I have two clay dolls? Oh my god, there's more. Oh, there's a Japanese Sandile. Okay. Oh, here it is, clay doll. Duh. All right, yeah. So we do have the two clay dolls. That's fine. They can stay there. That Sandile will go over there. Let's take this and this, put them like that. Um, hmm. Let's go Glade. Glade on the outside. Like I said, the oh hello, Hall Luchas. I like Hall Lucha, but we can put him in a complete row here. Too bad they're. See, they made mistakes with the Radiance and the um. And the amazing rares, they're too cheap. Too cheap, too easy to get. They should they should have made them harder to find. Not like crazy hard, but make it worth a couple bucks. Like don't make it like 60 cents or some some really sad number. Oh Glade, this is perfect. They go together, I think, right? Rising sword, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And then we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I have almost all the Coridons already. Let's go. See, it, it knew that I bought, um, it knew that I bought Scarlet. Let's take these guys out. Let's put that, that. Let's go Rock Rough. Rock Rough. Double Passimian. I got two of the Japanese. Mmm. Um, hold on, let's go, let's go, Japanese Sandile, New English Sandile, Zapdos, Zapdos, and then, uh, let's start all the, all the heavy hitters, let's go, Coridon, Coridon, jeez, Coridon, um, and then Tusk, Tusk, Tusk. Now let's backtrack for a second. I'm gonna show you something. Um, hold on, let me show you something. 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 Uh, where is it? Um, did you guys just see that? Did you guys see me swipe that out? Uh, you might have because you're looking right at it but so what happened was the Mew 
it was in the middle of the page and he was flipping slowly because he was looking for stuff. And then what he did was, he, as he was flipping, he put his hand like this. You see how it's sliding out as he's turning the page? And that's it. And now look, gone. Crazy stuff, crazy stuff. But um, but I'll tell you the I'll tell you, let's um what's the what's the last one here? Golds? We don't have golds. We didn't get any gold, did we? Oh, we got the gold energies. No, but those go in the energy section. I like those to go in the energy section. Shout out to Silent J with the Jersey Devil. All right, but let's switch let's switch binders. Let's get the binder switched out. Okay, so we got the second binder in. Let's do the second binder now. Ooh. All right. Okay, no, that's not... Mm, that's not bad. You guys can see it. I think uh, from the preview screen on my camera, it looks like you can look, you can see it. All right, so let's... I think we're okay. It's not... You're not going to be able to read some of the cards, but you, you know what they are. It's fine. You guys all collect stuff. It doesn't matter. All right, so now we're in the water section, so we have to go through our water Pokemon here, which I know we got the Garys. That I do remember. We got the Garys. We got Garys, Garys. So we got two Garys and a Slowpoke. Look at that tandem. By tandem, I mean look at look at look at this triple threat. It's like, oh, you're gonna mess with me, huh? Huh? Well, what about my buddies? I don't know. All right, so let's go through this. Let's make sure we got holes here. We got holes. All right, let's see. Oh God, I did pur I purged the binders. Before, uh, when I did a bunch of oh hello radiant greninjas all right so give me that that we'll backtrack them to the first page of the two missing we'll go here and here um you guys will see like nice stuff in here and whatnot but I'm not really gonna go over too much of it because I'm I'm like still organizing stuff Let's do this, and then we'll go over the binders in the in the future. Um, I have I need two, I need two, 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 two. Well, those Greninjas aren't gonna help. All right, so I need two, but I don't want to do anything recent. All right, give me these Barascutas. Barascutas will go there. That's fine. Barascuta, and then that's filled, and then these we can move over. It's fine. Celebration. Some of the celebration cards I wish were worth more money, too. Yeah, that's right. I said it. And then let's go... Um... Yeah, let's go Greninjas. We'll put some Greninjas up here. And then we'll... We'll put the other two on the, on the other page. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll do these two here. Like that. That's pretty good. And then, now we have open spot here for Gary, 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 oh, it's Slowpoke. So that's water. Water's done. Um, so what happened was, how, so, the plan was not to, like, do anything or post anything about the, the stolen card until, um, uh, not even post anything. We were sure, I was sure he was going to come back. I felt in his mind, he was good, everything was fine, he did his thing, he stole it, no one noticed, and he's gonna come, come back. So, and I, I, I told, I told, I told the owner, I said, well, I'm just gonna, not, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna show up later. I'm not gonna show up and be there in the, in the beginning. I don't want him to get spooked and run away. So, um, Jesus, look at all this, look at all these holes. All right. Let's grass. We got some grass. I know we got the spite ops and stuff that we have to do our fancy. We have to do this thing. We have to do that thing because there's the, you know, there's this the um, the site they're going after the the, the tarant uh, tarantula, but then spite ops saving it. So we'll have to we'll have to do that. And then I think there's something else in here that's that's grass. Yeah, the other spite ops, and then the the player leafy on. So that was the that was the plan. The plan was okay. Let's just not let's not say anything, post anything yet. Let's just let's just sit on it for the week, and then when he, if he comes back, then we'll go. And then it was funny. The next week, I go. Right as I get there, everybody starts cheering and clapping. <laughs> and 
some of the guys at the table were like, we got him, we got him. And so apparently he came back in, he came back in, uh, and so he was on the, the he was on, he was a kid, he was on the younger side. So I'm shocked he was, he was stealing. Another shocking thing. He's on the younger side and he came in, I guess with his dad or whatever. Ooh. Ooh. And, um, I, and the owner pulls him aside and, and talks to the father and tells him what, what happened and brought and then brought them outside to talk to both of them and then apparently apparently he had a, a new stack because he came the week prior with just a, a little binder with some stuff in it um, nothing crazy this time apparently he came with uh, a bunch of top loaded cards the me was in a new sleeve the me was in a new sleeve in a top in a stack top loaders of different different like rare Pokemon. So he did his thing and he was coming back for more. I guess I don't know if he was going to to, to, to swipe someone's stuff again, but that was crazy. And uh, so so I, I don't know I don't know what happened to the kid. I mean he probably got he probably got his ass handed to him. Let's be honest. Um, because that would and then he got banned. Couldn't come anymore. But that was the one time that I got stuff stolen from me. And I was able to get it back, which is crazy. Because of cameras. Because of cameras. We were, we were watching those cameras for about 45 minutes before we finally found the moment. It took, it took time. Oh, I just screwed this up. Actually, no, I didn't. Never screw it up. There's always... When you don't have to really organize by which card is which, you're good to... Ah. Let's, uh, let's put that here for now. And then we have, uh, let's do this. Let's do Tarantula down here, Spidops here, Spidops here, and then that there. And then we'll leave this open for something else because I don't want to put the Gold Superior here because it's a nice card. I don't want it to get damaged. Um, oh, shoot. I have all this stuff still. Um, that's fine. Guess what? Uh, boom. Uh, pop, pow, bam, boom, boop, pop, pow. <laughs> oh my god, I have so many cards, this is ridiculous. Let's do this, let's do this. Unless it is so my public service announcement to everybody is just be careful be, be careful what you're taking to these tournaments be careful what you're taking to like the the regionals be careful be careful with your stuff because i've always been really careful and it's still whoop, just you saw that like just like this just like this and it was slow about it turned and look it's gone jokes on them if they steal a rillaboom but I like Rillaboom. Rather, let's not, let's not put any hate in the comments for Rillaboom. Um, Charizard time. So we're in the fire section. Uh, do we have fire Pokemon? We have... Yep, we have two. We only have two. Um, so we got... These are the Charizards. These are the lesser of the Charizards that I have. I have more in Binder 4. Call it Binder 4. There's one, there's one hole right there. Uh, give me the Oracorio. Give me the Oracorio. Pop that sucker right there. And then let's go. Oh, yeah. Arcanine and then Armor Rouge. Look at the Arcanine with the, the Japanese Terrestrial as one. That's cool. You guys see that? Is that is it too glary? Is it too glary? You guys see it now? Sorry if it's too glary. It's because the... Uh, I guess it's doing f f a decent job. So let's see. What do we got? We got Oinka Oinkalange. I guess that's how you pronounce it, Oinkalange. Oh, I forgot um, Quaquavel in water, which is back here. Qua I told you I'd do this. It happens constantly. Quaquavel. How? Okay. Now we got a hole here. Do we have any other holes? Yep. All right. Yep. Oh, Oinkalange here. Japanese one. You know what? We'll just put them here. And then we'll build... We'll build the pages around them. Um, what, what do you think should go on the front here, guys? What do we think? 
I really think that's something nice. Maybe this shiny Sil Valley. I think that's a good one. That looks. Oh yeah, next to this Sil Valley here. Not the same exact car with the with the the attacks, but still cool. Um, now let's see. Let's take um, Salamence. Put him there. Let's go. Uh, Smeagol. Smeargle here. Um, Non-copyright Lord of the Rings character that's a painter now. Put that like that, and then... Hmm. Oh, Toros GX. When I... My first... My very first build in battle, my pre-release back was... Was Sword and Shield... Uh, no. Uh, um... Sun and Moon Base. This was my pull from, um... From my build and battle, and I use it. He was great. He had Rage. Uh, two colorless for 20 plus. This attack does 10 more for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Then Horn Attack for 60, and then Mad Bull. Listen to this. Mad Bull GX 30 times. This attack does 30 damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Ooh. Ooh. Spicy. He should probably go in the front. We'll put him here. Tauros. Let's go this. This. Put this. Oh, that was almost upside down. Whoops. Really nice looking hoot hoot. Put you there. Like that. Yes, yeah, I mean, we're just organizing binders at this point. Nothing really... Nothing really crazy going on. Let's just take these... Snorlaxes and then the obscene cast form. That's where I said it. Obscene cast form. Oh, whoops. The Coridons have to go in the um, binder four. Damn. I forgot about that. Okay. Let's get them back then. Let's get them now before we before we move on. So let's go. Let's close this. Let's close that. Let's put... Let's open this back up. Let's get those those two Coridons. The Spide Ops I'm going to leave in. He's not worth that much even though he's really nice. Um, fighting. Fighting! Okay. Uh, we got Coridon. Coridon. These bad boys are going to go up here. I'm going to forget about them, so don't worry. You guys can let me know in the comments that you forgot about them to put in the binder. And I'll forget all the way up until the end of this video. When I see them just chilling out here. So they're going to be right here, and we're going to forget about them. Actually, no, they'll be down here. Put them right there. Okay. Um, maybe I won't forget them at that point. Last binder to organize. Put stuff in. So let's do it. We got steel Pokemon. Which for now I just have the one iron treads. It's tough for me to give away steel Pokemon because I like them so much. See, see how full this this stuff is? Let's just get this put this here for now. Just quick, I don't want to make this video too long. Here's another code card for y'all. Get ready for code cards because I'm gonna start showing them a little bit faster because I got like I still have three left and we're almost done with the video. But yeah, so that was my experience with um with you know theft and make sure you guys use TCG player check the value of your cards make sure you know what you're doing if you don't know what you're doing um, or you're not sure you can always go ask the owner um, they hope they should help you I, I'm sure they would I'm sure they will because they don't want any any kind of issues at their at their places anyway but they could they could help you the, the most owner most owners now have TCG player at the ready they can tell you what it's worth and you can see if you're getting you're getting your money's worth for it. If you're getting, you know, if it's worth it. You don't wanna You don't wanna get shortchanged, trust me. But you also, you know, just make sure you do that. Make sure you you focus on that. What their value is. Now if you're if you're losing five or ten bucks because you really want a card and you know it, it's fine, whatever. You know what it is. But don't just go, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna dish out this card and just trade it because it's it's nice, but I'm I don't want it, but it's maybe worth a lot of money. Just be careful. Just be careful. Especially the young ones. The young ones who watch. Don't take your cards to school. I'm saying it. You'll come back with fake cards. You'll come back with fake cards. I will guarantee you that. I don't wanna be that guy guaranteeing that, but you will. Because fake cards run rampant. And it's not because people are trying, the kids are trying to rip someone off. 
they don't even know that their stuff is fake. Maybe some do, but I would say a, a good portion also don't. They just think that that's their Pokemon cards, and they trade. So just be careful. Just be careful. Uh, no. Hold on. The turn this gold is not worth that much, I don't believe. And then we'll put the Umbi here. Japanese Umbi. All right. Um, now we have our... This is it. Look at this. This is it. We got the Toxicroak. The Mabostiff. Bam. And then we got two trainers. Uh, did we take any dragons out? We did take dra... Ooh, we took a lot of dragons out. Um, yeah, let's, I guess let's organize it. Let's do it now so I don't have to do it later. But that's the whole purpose of this video anyway. Let's put him there. Take this out. Switch the, uh, sleeve. Don't... Oh, that's a, that's a nice sleeve from the Charizard, the premium collection, but... Black Ultra Pro, double sleeve with the penny sleeve. All the way. Every day, twice on Sunday. Uh, let's sleeve this. We got some Gujas here. We'll put these guys here. Um, we got a full art Dragonite, which we won't put in the first spot. Unless that's the that's the end of it. Oh, it is the end of it. You know, put him in the second spot. Bam. We got a whole page all to himself, Mr. Dragonite. And then we got fairies, which non-existent right now. They'll be back. They'll definitely be back. Um, here we go. And then full art trainers. We got rainbows. We got full arts. Um, I'm running out of space. Oh, Christ. I'm running out of space. Let's do Professor's Research here. Team Star Grunt there, I guess, for now. And then, yeah, that's it. And then that's pretty much finishing up the binder. The binders. All Oh, now it's time to look at the uh, binder number four, the juicy one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's nothing crazy. There's another code card for you guys. Bam. Enjoy that. Um... Um, yeah, I mean, I got a lot of stuff I want to do. I have, um, I have Godzilla fi uh, collectibles I want to review. I want to get those reviews, especially there's a new one I got that just recently came out. So that's one I definitely want to get done. But anyway, that's where we're going ahead of ourselves. Bam, here we go. Binder four, the big binder, the juicy one. This is the juiciest of juice that I have that's not, um... That's not the classic binders, which you guys have seen us before. Those are... Woo, I'll make another video with those. But here we go. So this is the... this is So there's nothing to put in here. Oh, there is something to put in here. See, oh, I forgot already. Look at that. We got those two bad boys to put in. So let's put this like this. We'll put them in. All right, so here we go. So this is the, this is the big binder. We got the Zapdos. I didn't know this was an alternate art for four and a half months. I almost gave this in as, as um, bulk. Can you imagine giving that in as bulk? That would have been a disaster. Um, there's the Mew. Back in my possession. This is the one that was swiped from me. This is the one. There he is. Got it from King Clutch, too. I was pissed. I was pissed when this was swiped from me. I was really mad. But I didn't show it. I was I was upset that someone would do that because you feel, you feel like you want to trust people. But, you know, be careful now. Be careful. Oh, we got some. We got the gold Mew. We got the. Oh, this was a funny trade. So, when Cosmic Eclipse came out, um, I traded at. Oh, the only game in town was a place I went to a lot too. Forgot to mention them. I got a lot of great cards from, them, especially a lot of a lot of my classic stuff from them before the boom in 2020. But this card right here, this is funny. I don't know what's worth. Maybe 40 bucks, 45 dollars. But this card right here, I traded a uh, poi po shiny poi poles from. Um, Hidden Fates, because at the time, Poi Pole was um, playable. I don't remember which Malamar it was. Not Malamar. Uh, Naganadel. I don't remember. But it, Poi Pole, the shiny Poi Pole, someone really wanted them. And I kept pulling them from Hidden Fates, so I had four or five of them. So I traded them three. Or two or three. And he bought, and I was like, I didn't see, I don't see anything I, I, I want. He's like, I can get, I can go get your packs if you want. So he got me Cosmic Eclipse packs, and bam, we pull this. The Sogaleo and, and Lunala Tag Team GX, a uh, hyper rare. Isn't that beautiful? Some of these cards, you really wonder why they're not worth more. I think since rainbows and hypers are gone, even, even though they're calling, they're calling something hyper rare these days. 
what is it? I don't remember, but they're calling something hyper rare, but it's not. Got the Mew tube. This was pulled by King Clutch. He didn't know what was happening, and they freaked out. We got so this was the first, um, the first alternate art pull from Brain Stars from me. Got some Lugias. They got to be in a binder. I just need to. They need to be in the binder. I got the Zard, the Zard page. Another Zard. Do I have two of the the Black Charles Zards? Yeah, I do. Um, we got Magic Carp and Whale Lord tag team. I traded the trade for that when it was like like 15 bucks when it was first came out. No clue that those cards from from is that Cosmic? Is that Cosmic? Hold on. You guys all know quicker than me. It's not Cosmic. It's um. Um, Unified, no, maybe Unified Minds or something? No. Um, Unbroken Bonds? Whatever. It's worth a lot of money now. Got the Cynthia, um, Misty's Favor. This is I got from my cousin. Traded him a long time ago. Got the Hyper Gyarados. I'm bringing back the word Hyper. That's a rainbow, but I'm bringing back the word Hyper for the GX stuff. We got Marnie's, Scar of Wars, Shinies, more um, alternate arts. Evolving Skies was my set, people. Evolving Skies was my set. I opened up a pretty good amount of it here. I didn't get the crazy pull, pull uh, hits, but King Clutch, um, his streams, big ups to him, because he had Evolving Skies, and I bought in a lot from him, and I pulled absolute monster heat from that set. I pulled every big alternate art that the set has, besides the Leafeon VMAX and the Glaceon VMAX. I got the Duraladons. I got the the Ray. I sold the Ray. I did sell the Ray. It got a little too high for me. I'm like, ah, I, sh I can sell and get other stuff. But something I will never, ever give up. Hold on. Hold on. Boom. My first big hit from, from King Clutch in his streams when he opened cards was the Moonbreon. And for some reason, my dumb, my dumb ass has not graded it yet. It's a little off-center on the back, so it's probably not going to get a 10. But it would still it's still worth to get it graded. But and they got the Lugia recently, I traded for that. Epic trading company I did with them, and then they got the last two here. See what I did? RCS would, would go there technically, but no, I, I don't like the I don't like the edges. I mean the edges here are, are okay, I guess, because technically it's a two it's a it's a four page binder, and then it's not as as pulled here because you're not it's not stacked. Half the binder's still empty. But um that was oh we have to put our our two new boys in let's put our boys in let's put our boys in here for now i know it looks funny but i don't like the edges but here we go bam we got our, our new caridons in there you guys have now seen a lot of oh here we go here's code card blitz the last two code cards code card for y'all code card for y'all thanks for watching i appreciate it um that was binder number four so we went through all three binders this took a little bit longer than i thought hopefully you guys enjoyed it um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We're gonna um, have more Skull and Avile on the channel. I have a lot more shorts to put up for you. Guys saw a lot of the hits from those shorts. If you stuck around this entire video and saw all of them, um, and if you didn't, you'll be pleasantly surprised when they pop up. And don't worry, if you've already saw the hits and you guys know my shorts, I put absolute bops to those those card openings. Those shorts have bops. Those songs are dope. Um, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Until next time, I guess. Uh, we'll do another Poker Talk at some point. Maybe we'll open something. You know, chill, whatever. And while we're talking, maybe we'll do this, this view again, even though we don't really have to. Um, that's pretty much it. Take it easy, guys. Peace.